thank you very much. And please don't use flash bulbs during the press conference. You are very fast. Yes. Tonight, we have time for only two questions for each country. One question from the local media of the country and one question from the international media. Okay, so we will also determine during this press conference in which half of the final these 10 countries will compete. So we have a lot of work, we will start. Albania. moments you never expect it. You expect everything. But really here in my in the name of my country for the first one going to the final was crazy. And I, I'm so happy. I'm crazy and happy. <laughs> really. <laughs> Your turn, please, the microphone for the guy. Yes, you can start. Uh, I'm only from Eurovision Albania, and I would like to ask Al Haida simply, how are you feeling? Because you made us feel us very, very, very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I had this responsibility, so a big responsibility representing my country in this event, which is the biggest show of music in the world. is is not little. So being in the final is amazing and really I am so happy that I, I think it doesn't matter how it is going to be on the finals just being there it's it's a lot and I'm proud about it and I'm, I'm so happy that I represented my country Albania and that's all Hi, my name is Damian. I'm from uh, Channel 13 for, uh, in Argentina. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, the change from the L to I'm Alive was a dramatic one. I want to know, how did you prepare for it? Well, um, actually, it was uh, really a dramatic one because we were late February preparing the song, the other lyrics in English and everything, and we, in late February, know that uh, the composer decided to withdraw the song, and I didn't have a song anymore to participate in Eurovision, and I thought it, it, it is the end. But then uh, they called me and told me that I can prepare a new song, and uh, we came up for three days with I'm Alive, with the composer, Stop and Chris, which, who are here, and I, I really love them. And, We did the, the, the great a great job, I, I think. That. Thank you very much. Thanks for the questions. And you know, before we go on, we've got to know in um, which half of the final uh, you are going to compete. Oh, super. Would you please... Not so super, actually. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Albania will compete in the um, second half. Oh. Yes. This is for you. You can keep it. Thank you, Thank you very much. Applause for Albania. I'm at a loss for words, and I think I speak on behalf of all six of us. Um, 
that we are super excited and honored and humbled and I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> special from the local media. Mm -hmm. Armenia, okay. Microphone is next to you. Bonjour, Amor. Congratulations. Uh, well, we all know how hard it's been combining uh, its five continents together. So it's been a really long process. So my question is, uh, which has been the toughest uh, obstacle to overcome? How did you manage to, to solve it? And also, the best part of all this process. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you for the question. I will tell from my side, as a head of delegation, as the from organization, um, it was really hard, but we succeeded. And it's really hard to combine six people with different characters and with different mentality, with different um, visions. But we have one genealogy, and that's unite us. So the family, this is the secret. I think Vahe will prove Yeah, like as she said, um, it, it, nothing is really easy, especially when you're trying to bring people from um, five different continents and combine them with Hayastan, with Armenia. Um, we all have our um, personalities, our characters, our strengths. And, um, and but the beauty of it is when we got together, it was as if we've been together for many, many years. And, um, and <laughs> we, we became a family, as Gohar said. So um, it, it really was you know, something beautiful that Armenian Public Television created, and we're very, very happy and glad. Thank you. all over the world to qualify to the final. Thank you for all the votings. Thank you. And now the question from the international media. Yes, it's your turn. Okay. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm from tapuz.co.il from Israel. I just wanted to ask um, since Armenians are spread all over the world and Israelis and Jews are spread all over the world, what do you think is the message that genealogy sends to people all over the world? As, as we've said in, in a number of interviews, it's all about spreading peace and love and to do that through music. Um, I think um, we all achieve that and uh, another one is building bridges as the, the, the theme of this year's Eurovision is building bridges. I think we've done that to a T. We've, we've brought together five continents and the diaspora linked it with, with our motherland, Armenia. And um, that's, uh, I think it's turned out beautiful. I don't know what you guys think. Was it good? Was it okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's time to pick a balance. Okay, together. Armenia will compete in the first half. English, please. Uh, but uh, uh, can, can you please do your questions so easy, okay? <laughs> and, um, I'm crazy happy. Uh, it was amazing. I, I just, I cried, and oh my God, it was like you know I have a son, so this is like. <laughs> <laughs> this is like first time I guess I, I, I was having a son or a baby. Yeah, this is the second child. But... <laughs> so we will start with the question from the local media. Okay. Yes. Okay. You 
Okay. Uh, Paulina, we are very happy that you are in the final. My name is Helen Laptev from Russian newspaper Komsomolska Pravda. Uh, my question is, uh, how do you feel the emotion from uh, the Wiener Stadthalle? Uh, how people react for your uh, song and how do you think, uh, have you built any bridge from your song in this uh, semi-final? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was really, really amazing and I'm so thankful for that uh, uh, warmest uh, um, welcome because uh, everybody were singing with me and it was just amazing really and thank you all who sang with us thank you so much yeah, I, I can see a hand I need a microphone for this hand yes <laughs> thank you ah, hi. hi how are you uh, it's John from Turkey, yes, you find but come. So I just arrived your... from Turkey. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so your country is a little bit have bad famous about LGBT rights. Uh, so why you still didn't you have about LGBT song? You can do as uh, sing a song about LGBT rights, maybe to change and repair this. Why you didn't, or maybe next year, I don't know, you don't do that. Would you like to give an answer? Or? Well... <laughs> I just can't say that my song is really about love and it's really about that we are speaking, everybody is speaking one language, language of love and it's no difference who you are. We are people and uh, we can make bridges uh, just in a moment and I, I saw it today. It was amazing. Everybody was screaming, Paulie, not, nah, and I just, I, I cried, really. It, it was so, yeah, so amazing. for us it means that uh, our message touch your souls and hearts and we are very happy that our campaign our message will go on in the final um, it's a paradox here. Uh, I have two sons <laughs> eight and seven years old and my wife is there the rest of the band uh, so we are very happy okay. and uh, we are happy that uh, our tradition Romania's tradition to go in the final it will go on <laughs> we for 21 years this is the 21st year where we go through the final and that's absolutely amazing thank you for and, and this was the main pressure for me you know 
Okay, we will start with the first question from a local media. Local media? Okay. <laughs> Hi, it's Kevin, uh, an o'clock newspaper in uh, Romania. Um, hi, um, I'm glad that you got through the final because I was I was a bag of nerves. Um, a couple of people would like to say thank you. Uh, okay, some people would like to say thank you. Uh, three million and one. Obviously, the three million, the amount of Romanians that are working abroad, they can't all squeeze in here tonight. So I'll thank you on their behalf. Uh, they've obviously had to leave their children at home in Romania. We all know the story. We've all seen Way of the Danube. Uh, if you haven't, go on and uh, look it up. The one is, uh, well, me, because I've got the t-shirt, I've got the flag, and uh, I look silly being there on Saturday night, and you're not there. So the, the, the question is, obviously, the campaign you said goes on and on. You're now um, high profile because you're going to be there on Saturday night. Uh, but surely the profile of the band is going to raise as well. Uh, and I must ask you, if you get a phone call, who would you like to get a phone call from on Sunday morning? A multi-mega star saying, come and join us on tour. Who would you want that to be? Can I answer? Because uh, Sunday morning is his birthday. <gasps> <gasps> you don't mind. So I will be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's Bono from YouTube. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, thanks for the question. And the next question from the international media. Yes. With the blue score. Yes. Thank you very much for the microphone. Next question. Congratulations. It's Edward Modovello for ESCXR.com. You managed to transmit the strong message behind the song. Now, I'm going to ask you tonight after you qualify, what message you have tonight for those Romanian upcoming generations who aspire and deserve a better future more than their grandparents or parents? It's imperative to solve this problem. Children keep growing up, so we must be with, with them. This is the most, most important thing. The situation must be solved immediately, and we are a part of Europe, so it's uh, uh, our problem. That's why we are here for the message. We are uh, an old band with an old um, history behind, but this message in front of you, guys, it's awesome to, to can share this message all over the world. Thank you. in my life without my daughter for more than, I don't know, two, three months. So you parents understand very well what it means to see your child through this Skype or whatever. So help us spread the message of Voltage. Yeah, and I, uh, sorry, I, I talked with a Polish guy from press on the red carpet and uh, he told me that there are more than two million Polish guys uh, who went abroad and I started to cry, <laughs> really. Because it's not just our problem. No? Thank you. It's time to let's continue building bridges yes. between kids and parents. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. And now, please pick the ballot and tell us. Romania will compete in. background singers, background vocalists, and I think we did a great job, and I'm so satisfied with everything. So we can start with the first question from the local media? Yes, but if you have any questions, you can just ask me. <laughs> I will give you the time. Okay? Yeah. It's your turn. Can you please take the ball? You are still Kivan. Uh, good evening, Lasto Bogna from the Hungarian Public Service Television. Okay, can you tell us something about your mindset during your performance? I mean, uh, going up to the stage and singing after a big dance song uh, might be uh, a tense or might be an interesting feeling. Can you tell us about your thoughts about it? Thank you. 
Uh, actually, before going on the stage, uh, yeah, it's not easy after Serbia because Serbia, it's a really dancing song. <laughs> It's really calm and it's really peaceful. So I don't use earring monitors during the Serbian songs, excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, uh, after I put them in, and uh, before going on a stage, I always uh, talk with my singers. I, uh, I give them confidence and I give them a lot of advices what to thinking about on the stage exactly. Because for me, the most important thing on the stage to pass my message. I don't care about uh, visuals, I don't care about the, nothing, just the message. And I was so proud of my team because I think we could communicate the message the best way we can. Your song is Wars for Nothing. Um, is your intention to spread something out in the world, through um, to change something in the world through the song contest? Yeah, exactly. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I always write songs about my thoughts and about my feelings. And uh, I already have two albums with a lot of um, deep meaning songs. And Wars for Nothing, it's a peace song. It's a song about and for peace. And I truly believe that through music we can make the world a better place. And uh, music is more powerful than some people might think. And I, I strongly believe in it. So that's why I'm here to sing this peaceful song to Europe. And I'm so happy that Europe could understand. Okay. And are you with the beat in this? opportunity to sing my song again and the whole Europe will listen to it again. <laughs> I feel very blessed. Thank you so much for voting. to ask you, since uh, the crisis is here in Greece, uh, what will happen if you win the contest on Saturday? Uh, <laughs> um, we will definitely do it. Better love. Congratulations oh, again, like okay. Romania. One more time, one more breath. Would you change your title of your song? One more breath. Yes, two more breaths. <laughs> uh, what's anything in your life? What take your breath away? What? What? There was something you were not able to breathe anymore because you were so astonished or I don't know surprised. Uh, if I didn't pass tonight. <laughs> I wouldn't have any breath. It was very important for my country to pass. Uh, I think, um, and due to the economical and political crisis, uh, Greece deserves a second chance. Please, we 
single beat in there. you have brought a Finnish flag and so uh, because our slogan this year is building bridges here there is actually been uh, a talk about building an underwater bridge between Estonia and Finland so this is very thematic so please guys could you tell and let the whole world know what is so special about the Estonian and Finnish friendship uh, first of all we uh, have the um, uh, how do you say we have a similar language uh, relatives by language, uh, we have the same anthem. Uh, we live across the sea. Very many Estonians live in Finland. Um, my, my sister lives there, and uh, we are neighbors, you know, so we have to support each other. And we love Finnish people. Yeah, and that's why um, I really like the uh, Finnish song, actually, also. So that's why I brought the flag. My name is Ben Rothenberg, I'm an American reporter for Slate Magazine. Just wondering more actually about Finland. What, what, what did you think of their band and their songs? I know they got a lot of attention here. I noticed you brought the flag, so just more about the Finnish song, I guess. Uh, yeah, I know this band uh, from a um, from few years now, actually. And um, I think it was, uh, the music-wise, it was a bold choice, everybody deep down in their hearts actually loves punk music, I think. There's a rebellion in every, each and every one of us, and uh, uh, the song stood up from, uh, from the other songs, I think. Right. Okay, so second half. <laughs> okay, are there left? I don't know. <laughs> deserved it because they are really fighting to be free they are fighting to be I don't know to be Europe you know this is a real building bridge for us so I'm really proud and they are really proud public broadcaster. Uh, first of all, thank you for the show, Nina. Uh, you're right, uh, all Georgians are very proud of you today. Thank you. <laughs> you're a true warrior. Uh, what do you think? Uh, is your country warrior as well? 
Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, um, I always hear a question like, uh, why warrior? Why, why is the name of the song is warrior? So this is uh, really weird that in a 20 years old uh, girl's mind is not that, um, that easy mind. Uh, and she's thinking about being warrior. She's thinking about being feminist. Uh, so we really have a reason for that. Our country is a small one. Um, there's a lot of people who's trying to, um, I don't want to say that word, but destroy us. They are really want to, uh, I don't know, um, I can't say that they really want to be Georgians, but anyway, <laughs> something like that. So this is, um, this is really hard to explain what, uh, what it means for Georgia to be warrior, because we're trying to be fighters for, uh, for, I don't know, for centuries, you know? So this is hard to explain, this is hard to talk about that. This is a history, actually. This is not a, this is not a simple question. <laughs> Please stand up. This is Daniel from Hi. the Atlanta German Media. Uh, one question, how does it feel to stay on stage lonely while watching 10,000 people <laughs> with waving your flags? Actually, I was not alone because whole Georgia was with me. This, this song was dedicated to my friends. That was dedicated to whole Georgia, so I was I was feeling like I'm not alone, you know. <laughs> and there was actually my backing vocalist; they were just in the backstage, so I was not alone. Mina, first or second half? Is there any second half? <laughs> it's the final. Okay. <laughs> Take first, we are there. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Georgia? It was second left. Yes. Thank you, Nina. Congratulations. And the next, the wise from Serbia. First of all, I would love to say to you, not like, love to say that you are so beautiful and to thank you all for supporting me. And second, the news reporters who were on my press conferences know that I love to talk, but you left me speechless. <laughs> So local media don't okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Dawn. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So much. Thank you so, so much. Uh, have you been a little bit nervous uh, because um, uh, you um, nine tonight uh, being in the uh, final? Well, uh, I was excited. We had rehearsals these days, guys, and they were tempo, tempo, tempo. So, um, but I was nervous um, before I got on the stage. Um, but when I heard the audience and the reaction, it was beautiful. And the most important thing for me is that number nine is my lucky number. Number nine is the number that they called us today to go to the finals. And number nine was the number that Maria Sharifovic was called. So... Answer your question, darling. It's going to be like Conchita was. She, she, she's like making you have to look into uh, her, her eyes. His bling, eyes. Bling, 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 bling. Oh, yeah. darling, I like your dress. And uh, Conchita is actually amazing. Yes, we know. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. The opening. That's right. Congratulations to Austria. Yeah. You really made the show perfect.
Yes, okay. Hi. Hi, Moyana. It's Cristina Giuntini from OGItaly.net. Oh, Italy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we saw uh, in your delegation, we saw Maria Sharifovic. And I want to know how it feels to be working with her and whether she gave you any suggestions on how to, uh, how to behave on stage or things like that. And she, I cannot lie, she gave me a few tips. But actually, the most important tip that she gave me was be yourself, be natural. Uh, you're going to be nervous. Are you sick now? No, you should be sick now. At this moment, you should be sick. But no, I'm joking, of course. Maria really um, gave me the best support she could by saying that I should really be myself, uh, concentrate on a song and uh, enjoy and i am enjoying i still can a little bit believe that we are in the finals so thank you again and thank you Mano. <laughs> Belgium. Louis, congratulations. Um, we are very proud of you. Um, you know, we, we, don't, we don't have a, a tradition to go to the final every year, so I think you made a lot of Belgians happy. Um, I had the pleasure to work with you before the competition, and I know you have nerves of steel, but what went through your head when they called the ninth country? Were you nervous? <laughs> yes, of course, because the competition was really hard and there were a lot of great songs tonight, so yes, of course, I was nervous. Okay, but you, you did it great and I, I'm Thank pretty you sure much. you got to the final <laughs> Uh, my name is Fernando, I work with yesitoday.com and uh, well, you come from Belgium, we know a bit the nature of the country with uh, two regions, three languages, so it's a little bit uh, complex. My, uh, since the, motor, since the uh, slogan of this year's contest is building bridges, my question is how can you, especially the youngest uh, generations of Belgians build bridges between these uh, different communities to reinforce uh, the unity of the country. Um, um, I love Eurovision because in Eurovision you don't have, you, you just have to listen to your heart and listen to music. 
And I think it's really important when you have complex culture like I have, because tonight Belgium was united. We were one, and we were one from mil million um, uh, uh, people from the TV. And so, uh, you can sing it if you want. Not stop speaking, you can sing if you want. Okay. Um, and um, and I'm really proud to see that Belgium, were, the entire Belgium, was behind me tonight. So thank you, Belgium, and thank you, Europe.